email 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 113. And here we were given two linear functions and just asked when is f of x greater than g of x and when is g of x greater than f of x. So here was my f of x function, right? So in the f of x greater than g of x, you see me putting that in there, right? And in the g of x greater than f of x, again, you see me, see, you see me putting the um, f function in. And then on the flip of that, we had my g of x function. So I put g of x in, into the inequality, g of x in to this inequality. And then it's a matter of solving a linear inequality. So what I opted to do was I subtracted 20x from both sides. And then I subtracted 200 from both sides. So when I do that, the 200s cancel on the left side, the 20x's cancel on the right. And when I have negative 0.1 minus another 20, that gets me to negative 20.1x. And when you do 0.1 minus 200, that gets you to negative 199.9. And then to solve for x, you want to divide both sides by negative 20.1. But keep in mind, when you do that, you've got to change the direction of the inequality because I'm dividing by a negative number. So that's why you see me moving the less than. All right, and I just move the decimal over by 1 on the numerator and denominator. And when I crunch that number, there it is. x is less than 9.945. So if you ever plug in an x value to these two functions and it's less than 9.945, then f of x is going to be greater than g of x. And on the flip of that, I did the exact same thing over here. I just had a slightly different way of solving it, right? I added 0.1x to both sides. And then I subtracted 0.1 from both sides. And when you do that... Right? These are going to cancel here. These are going to cancel here. You get 20.1x being greater than 199.9. Divide by 20.1. Move the decimal over if you want, or just plug it into your calculator. And here we go. When x is greater than 9.945, then g of x is greater than f of x. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.